Next, we have the anomaly that is the Falcons and Bengals. Falcons are 6-0 and against the spread. So you already know where I'm going to move with this. Um, right now, it's Falcons plus 6. So if Vegas knows anything, which apparently they do, the Falcons plus 6 is the move. And so this will be a close game. Falcons have been in every single game. Bengals, they are emerging, and they have been playing very well. With that over a 47.5, I do think this is going to be a higher-scoring game. I like how the Falcons have moved the ball, even with some of their star players not being utilized, like Kyle Pitts and um, Drake Lennon being banged up. I think this game is going to be fireworks. I like the the Bengals to still win this game, but I like the Falcons to cover, and Bengals win 31-28. Yeah, I don't really think the Falcons will cover just because – you're playing at home against the 49ers. They have a banged up front seven. And Jimmy G gave you a few touchdown, two picks, which is basically the difference in the game, which is two touchdowns. You're going to Cincinnati in this game. It's starting to get cold. And now this is where we find out who's legit and who's not. The cold weather, October, fall, December. Who's really made for it? I think the Bengals are going to run away with this one. I think their defense is going to show up and be dominant. I've seen their defense show up and play well against good teams so far this year. They played very well against the Ravens. They played very well um, against the Saints. Made all the key stops they needed to on the road in that game. And I think at home, this is another step forward for the Bengals where this like, a great opportunity against inferior talent to flex your muscles on a team in the NFC South. And I just think at home, I have to pick the Bengals by a touchdown. So I'm going to go Bengals 35 to 21 in this game. 